Hello, welcome to my channel, Wailani Creations. I'm Wendy, and in this video, we will learn how to make Easter egg earrings. I will include information on the materials in the descriptions, so please be sure to check it out. I will first show you how to make the frame of the Easter egg, and I will show you how to make each of these patterns, so that you can mix and match the patterns and make your own Easter egg designs. For this one, I use size 8 seed bead, and since the bead is pretty big, you can use 18 gauge or 20 gauge wire. And if you want to use size 11 seed bead, you can use 20 gauge or 22 gauge wire. However, not all size 11 seed beads fit through a 20 gauge wire. Alright, we'll start by straining the wire with a nylon jaw plier, and then we will cut 4 inches of wire. Now, we will cut 4 inches regardless of what gauge size you're using. Using a round nose plier, create a small loop on one end of your wire. Next, we'll use an oval shaped mandrel to form the wire. I will include a link in the descriptions in case you want to get the same size mandrel. Since we'll be creating a loop on the other end of the wire later, it's okay that there's an overlap here. We are going to add seed beads through this end here. For this demonstration, I will use size 8 seed beads. For your reference, if I am using size 8 seed beads, I have 40 seed beads total. And if I'm using size 11 seed beads, I have 56 seed beads total. And you want the number of seed beads to be even. Alright, so now I will add 40 seed beads. Once you have added all the seed beads, use a round nose plier to create a small loop on this end of the wire to lock in all the seed beads. Now use a chain nose plier to bend the loops slightly so that they are facing upward. I'm going to put the wire through the mandrel one more time to make sure that it's still a nice oval shape. You might have noticed that there is a gap here and the reason for that is because as we add these designs to the egg, we will need some room to wrap the wires around so it's good to save some space for that. Also, make sure that the closing of your loops are facing the same direction. Next, we will use a jump ring to connect the loops together. Let's start with this design with the bigger bead and small crystals wrapped around it. We will use 28 gauge wires to add the patterns. For this one, I am using 4 inches of wire. You can use a little bit longer wire to make it easier. Wrap one side of the 28 gauge wire around the egg. I am wrapping it between the second and third bead and wrapping it about two times. Next, we'll add a bead. I have a size 8mm bead here. Now we'll wrap the wire on this side of the egg between the second and third bead two times. We are going to use the extra wire and add 6 4mm crystals. Now we're going to wrap the 6 crystals around the bigger bead, hugging it like a half circle. And then we'll wrap the wire around the same spot two times. Okay, let's cut off the extra wires and you use a chain nose plier to find any wire that might be sticking out. Next, we'll learn how to make these patterns. They are basically the same. This first one here has three wires while the other one has two wires. Alright, I have three 28 gauge wires here and they are about 4 to 5 inches long. I'm going to wrap all three wires around the middle of the egg. I'm wrapping it about one and a half times because there isn't a lot of space to wrap three wires at once. And now I'm opening up the wires so that I can add two mm crystals to them. I have four two mm crystals. I added one to the top wire, two to the middle wire, and one on the bottom wire. 
You want to place the crystals on the top and bottom between the two crystals in the middle and pinch the wires together. If your middle crystals pop out, just use your fingers to push them back in. They eventually stay put pretty well. Next, we'll put all three wires through a size 11 seed bead. The seed bead helps to close the diamond. Push the seed bead all the way to tighten the diamond and then spread out the wires like we did before. I repeated the steps by adding four crystals, one on top, two in the middle, and one on the bottom. And now I'm going to pinch the wires together to form the diamond shape, and then I will add a seed bead again. And now I will repeat the steps again to form one more diamond. I'm going to count how many seed beads is on the left hand side, so that I can wrap the wire around the same spot on the right hand side. I wrapped it one and a half time here also, bringing the wire to face the back of the airing. I've brought the wires to the back of the airing. Now let's cut off the extra wires and then use a chain nose plier to flatten any wire that is sticking out. For this pattern, you would just use two wires and you would do one crystal on top, two on the bottom, two on top, one on the bottom, and so forth. To make the flower, we'll use 28 gauge wire again. I have about 6 inches of wire here and I added 6 seed beads. We are going to put one end of the wire through all 6 seed beads one more time to form a circle. You want to twist both wires together slightly so that the circle won't become loose. Let's add a seed bead to one of the wires for the middle of the flower. And now we'll put this wire through the middle of the flower one time to lock the seed bead in place. And you can add the flower to any part of your egg. I'm just going to add it to the bottom of this egg. I'm going to add a couple of seed beads to the left side before wrapping the wire around the egg. I added the same number of seed beads on the right hand side and I'm going to wrap the wire around this side of the egg. I didn't go over these in my tutorial, but they are pretty straightforward. You just wrap the wire on one side and then add seed beads, and then wrap the wire on the other side. Last step is to add an earring hook or earring stud. So let's open up a jump ring, add it to the earring, and then we'll connect it to the earring stud. All right, let me know in the comments if you decide to make your own Easter egg earrings. Have fun making them, and thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.